before jet engines took over the skies. There was another kind of power. The thunderous roar of propellers slicing through the air. Today, we will count down the 10 largest turboprop aircraft ever built, ranked by their maximum takeoff weight. These flying giants carried armies, missiles, and even dreams of crossing oceans, powered not by jet thrust, but by the raw torque of propellers. So buckle up, because it's time to meet the titans of prop power. Aircraft so big, they shook the ground before they even left it. Number 10. The Lockheed L-188 Electra. It has a maximum takeoff weight of about 53.5 tons. Originally built in the 1950s as a commercial airliner, early issues threatened its future. But Lockheed wasn't done yet. They transformed the design into the legendary P-3 Orion, one of the most successful maritime patrol aircraft in history. With its four Allison turboprops, the Orion has patrolled oceans for decades, tracking submarines, rescuing ships in distress, and keeping watch over vast waters. Even today, over 60 years after its debut, the P-3 still flies strong. Number 9. The Canadair CL-44 Yukon Built in the late 1950s and based on the British Bristol Britannia, the CL-44 was designed to move people and cargo across the Atlantic. A swing-tail fuselage, allowing the entire rear section to pivot open, making loading cargo faster and easier than ever before. It served faithfully with the Royal Canadian Air Force and several commercial operators, earning a reputation for being rugged, reliable, and a little bit ahead of its time. Douglas C-133 Cargo Master Designed to transport intercontinental ballistic missiles, tanks, and oversized equipment. With four massive Pratt & Whitney T-34 turboprop engines, it could lift enormous payloads at a time when jets weren't ready for the job. It was the only aircraft that could carry Atlas and Titan missile stages, literally delivering the space race before rockets could. Though retired in the early 1970s, the C-133 paved the way for future heavy transports like the C-5 Galaxy. Number 7. The mighty A-400M Atlas Europe's answer to modern airlift challenges this four-engine turboprop combines jet-like speed with propeller-driven efficiency. Its TP-400 D6 engines, the most powerful in the Western world, can each produce over 11,000 horsepower. The A400M can carry 37 tons of cargo, including armored vehicles, helicopters, and 116 troops. It is fast, flexible, and capable of performing tactical takeoffs and landings on rough terrain. In short, the A400M is the Hercules of the 21st century. Meet the Antonov AN70, a futuristic design from Ukraine that almost rewrote the rules of airlift. Developed in the 1990s, the AN70 uses prop fan engines, advanced propellers that looked like jet turbines but deliver turboprop efficiency. It can deliver 47 tons of cargo, land on short or unpaved runways, and operate in extreme weather conditions. Think of it as the bridge between classic turboprops and modern jet transports. Though political and funding challenges limited its production, the AN-70 remains a masterpiece of aerodynamic innovation. The Confair XC-99 built as the transport version of the massive B-36 bomber. The XC-99 was the world's largest piston-powered land plane at the time. With a maximum takeoff weight of about 145 tons, the Convair XC-99 is a one-of-a-kind titan of the early Cold War. It had six engines, a double-deck fuselage, and could carry up to 50 tons of cargo or 400 troops. Only one was ever built, but it demonstrated just how big piston and turboprop aircraft could get before the jet age truly took over. The mythical Hughes H-4 Hercules 
better known as the Spruce Goose, built almost entirely from wood during World War II. This giant flying boat was designed to carry troops and tanks across the Atlantic. Its wingspan, nearly 98 meters, remains the largest of any aircraft ever flown. It only flew once in 1947 for less than a minute, with Howard Hughes himself at the controls. But that single flight sealed its place in aviation legend, proof of human ambition and the belief that bigger really could be better. The Convair B-36 Peacemaker, one of the largest and most powerful bombers ever built. Its motto? Six turning, four burning. That's six enormous piston engines driving pressure propellers and four jet engines added later for extra thrust. With a range of over 16,000 kilometers, it could fly from the US to targets deep in enemy territory and return without refueling. The B-36 bridged the gap between World War II propeller bombers and the jet-powered B-52s that followed. It was the symbol of America's early nuclear deterrent, massive, menacing, and magnificent. Number 2. The Tupolev Tu-95 Bear Imagine this. A strategic bomber nearly as fast as a jet, powered entirely by propellers. The Tupolev Tu-95 NATO codename BEAR, powered by four Kuznetsov NK-12 engines, each driving gigantic contra-rotating propellers. The most powerful turboprops ever built. The Tu-95 could fly from Moscow to the United States and back, carrying nuclear weapons at near supersonic speed. And the sound, a deep, vibrating rumble, could be heard long before the aircraft appeared on radar. Even today, Modernized Tu-95 still patrol the skies over 60 years after their first flight. It is only the propeller-powered bomber still in frontline service, a living fossil of aviation power. Number 1. The Antonov An-22 Ante And finally, the undisputed heavyweight champion of turboprops, the Antonov An-22 Ante. Unveiled in 1965, the AN-22 is the largest turboprop aircraft ever built, and it still holds that title today. It can easily take off of about 250 tons of weight overall. Powered by four colossal Kuznetsov NK-12 engines driving eight contra-rotating propellers, the AN-22 could lift 80 tons of cargo and operate from grass or gravel airstrips. It carried tanks, troops, and humanitarian supplies across continents, often to places no jet could reach. The AN-22 wasn't just big. It was revolutionary, proving that turboprops could rival the performance of early jets while retaining unmatched lifting power. Even today, a few AN-22s remain in service, their deep, rumbling engines announcing their arrival long before they're seen. Each one proved that propellers could move the world, and in some cases, change the course of history. If you've enjoyed this journey through aviation's mightiest machines, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with fellow aviation fans. Until next time, keep your props spinning and your eyes on the skies.